Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up realistic PBR textures in Blender for your Roblox GFX. I have a little cold so I'm sorry if I sound a little congested, just bear with me. Anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing we're going to do is find our PBR texture. My favorite website for this is ambientcg.com. I'm going to link it in the description. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to find something simple like a wood floor. For Roblox GFX, I think 4K is fine, so I'll see you guys when this is downloaded. Alright, so now we're going to select all these textures except the preview and drag them into downloads. Alright, so I'm going to press A, delete all this stuff. Now press Shift A and add a plane. Now I'm going to press S to scale this up a bit. And I'm going to press Tab, right click, subdivide, and I'm going to use about 70 cuts. To set up this texture, we're going to need an add-on called Node Wrangler. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Edit, Preferences, and in Add-ons, I'm going to search Node Wrangler. Make sure you have this selected because it sets up the PBR texture for us. Now that we have this checked, we can X out of this, and let's click on our Render Properties tab and change our Render Engine to Cycles. Now I'm going to add an HDRI like I do in all of our videos for some simple lighting. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go into Render Properties and in Film, we're going to make it transparent. Now I'm going to drag this up and press this clock and change it to the Shader Editor. This is where we edit all our textures. So we're going to click on our plane and make a new texture. Zoom in. And this green thing called Principal BDSF, we're going to click on it, Control Shift T, and we're going to select our texture. And we're going to use Box Select to select all of our textures. Now we're going to press Principal Texture Setup. You can play with all of these if you want to, but I just like the natural look. Actually, I'm going to change the Z-axis to 90 so it's going this way. So now you have a functional PBR texture. If you want to go the extra mile and do some 3D displacement, we can go into our render properties and change supported to experimental, and then press this wrench and add a subdivision surface modifier, and add adaptive subdivision. Now to activate what we just did, we're going to go into material properties, scroll all the way down the settings, and we're going to change displacement to displacement above. Now it should look crazy like this. So to fix this, we're going to go into our nodes and put the scale down. Obviously, if you're doing a natural ground texture, you want to put this up a lot more, like this or something. But this is a flat wood texture, so I'm going to keep it pretty low, and it's still going to give us that three-dimensional look. Alright everyone, that's going to be it for today. If you found this tutorial helpful, like and subscribe, and leave a comment down below what else you want to learn. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.